There are a lot of changes happening on Instagram lately, but good hashtags are still generating a lot of exposure and are crucial for the fast organic growth. I've seen a lot of people sharing Instagram hashtag strategies that are outdated or that never worked at all, so I've decided to share my complete hashtag strategy that works right now. Make sure to watch this video till the end because I'm going to reveal everything that you need to do to start getting that sweet reach and engagement from hashtags every day I'm hustling every day I'm hustling hello everyone and welcome to equals cash my name is Adam and I've been making money off of Instagram for the past several years if you want to learn more about growing making money on Instagram and online marketing in general make sure to subscribe because on this channel I'm going to reveal everything that I've learned for the past nine years completely free in this video you are going to learn hashtag basics, how to help Instagram categorize your page to start getting suggested more often, how to do a proper hashtag research, how many hashtags should you use and finally what is skyscraper hashtag strategy and how to use it. I wanted to cover more things about hashtags but since it's a really huge topic I've decided to split it into two parts. In part two I'm going to add tips on how to increase your chance of getting ranked for hashtags, mistakes you should avoid, branded hashtags and much more, so stay tuned for that. I've seen a lot of people claiming that there are no benefits from using hashtags and that your post will perform the same with or without them. That's absolutely not true and if you are using proper hashtag strategy that's definitely the best way to grow on Instagram and I've been using hashtags for all of my accounts. I'm sure that most of you already know this but you get a hashtag when you combine this symbol with a word. Once you do that you get a clickable link which leads to hashtag page which is basically a category that contain posts and stories that use that particular hashtag. Social media websites use this to categorize posts and to help users find similar content to a certain topic like travel, fitness and so on. This is how the hashtag page looks like. If you click here you will find stories that use this hashtag. Here you can see how many posts in total use this hashtag. You can also follow a hashtag and if you do occasionally a top performing post will pop up in your feed. Below there are two sections, top and recent. In the recent section you will find posts that are most recently uploaded and in top section the best performing posts that use this particular hashtag. Because of that in the recent section posts tend to come and go pretty quickly especially if it's a popular hashtag. On the other hand in the top section once ranked posts tend to stay there much longer for hours, days or in some cases weeks if it's a smaller hashtag. This is the place where you want your post to appear to get additional exposure and more engagement. There are several places where you can put hashtags in captions, in the comment section, in a story, in IGTV captions and in your bio. There is a limit set by Instagram on how many hashtags you can use it's up to 30 per posts and IGTV videos and 11 for stories. There are two reasons to use hashtags to get more exposure and if your content is high quality more followers and to help Instagram categorize your page. First thing that you need to understand is that you always want to use hashtags that are relevant to your niche. Instagram uses image recognition to scan your posts and to see what's actually on them. For example, you will have much harder time ranking a picture of a car with a hashtag related to nature. Using hashtags that are not relevant can lead to lower trust score and shadow ban since it's basically spamming. So your goal is to find hashtags that are closely related to the topic of your account. If you are running a team or niche page, like for example travel, with each new post that use 
travel related hashtags you are letting instagram algorithm know that your page is about travel and it will start pushing your account to the more people that are interested into travel niche with each new post instagram is basically learning more about your account and the exact category you are in so it will start recommending you to other people who showed interest in your niche and associating your account with other bigger pages that are in your niche now because of this when you start your instagram page you should find 25 to 30 really small targeted hashtags that are closely related to your niche and in the beginning just use those on the first several posts if your account is really broad like just travel where you post a ton of different destinations and all kinds of content then there are a ton of small hashtags that you can use in this case find several sets of these small hashtags and use different set with each new post but as i've mentioned in my previous videos you shouldn't start in broad niche like that because you will have much harder time growing I know a lot of people claim that you should use only 5 or 10 hashtags because if you use more Instagram is going to see that as a spam but that's absolutely not true i mean just think about it if instagram really wants you to use just five then the limit would be five hashtags and not 30. i use between 25 and 30 hashtags per post and you should too because you have a chance to rank for each hashtag and if you use 30 then your chances to get ranked increase to rank for a certain hashtag your post needs to be related and to receive similar engagement in the same amount of time as the posts that are already ranked hashtag research is pretty simple but a bit time consuming the good thing is that you basically need to do it only once per each page that you have first you want to go to a broad niche hashtag like for example if you are in travel niche go to hashtag travel if you are in fitness niche hashtag fitness and so on now let me show you exactly what you need to do my account is in a nordic niche by the way for those of you who don't know this is the account that i'm growing from 0 to 10k from scratch live on youtube and showing everything along the way if you are interested in checking that out the link will be in the description as you can see here you will find a list of related hashtags if you tap on one of them again you will get a list of other related hashtags now there are two things that you want to write down for each of these hashtags total amount of posts and the lowest amount of likes for top nine posts if you have time you can also write down the average amount of comments but it's not really necessary so here in this example there are 348k total posts and the lowest amount of likes is 1.2k that means if your post gets uh, 1.2k likes within one day you have a chance to rank for this particular hashtag now you want to find a lot of these related hashtags and write the total amount of posts and the lowest amount of likes for each of them another way to find more related hashtags is to check each picture and see which hashtags they are using the third way is to go to search type your keyword click on tags and there you go in the beginning of each account i usually use the second and the third method which saves me a ton of time there are some websites that you can use but i don't really recommend them since a lot of people are using these and you don't want to have same hashtags as your competition now depending on how broad is your niche you want to find from 30 for smaller niches to 120 for broader niches you also want to find from 15 to 25 general hashtags in this example specific hashtags would be norway visit norway travel norway and so on these are hashtags that are really closely related general hashtags are broader but still related like travel traveling gram and so on now as i've mentioned already in the beginning of each account you should use 25 smaller laser targeted hashtags that are as close as possible related to your niche and additional three to five general hashtags 
this way you will let Instagram know what your account is all about so they can put you into the right category. After that you should start using the skyscraper or the staircase strategy. Skyscraper hashtag strategy is pretty simple yet really effective method to start harvest the power of snowballing effect and start going viral. You want to divide hashtags into six different groups. First group will be five hashtags that range from 5 to 50k total posts. Second group five hashtags that range from 50 to 250k total posts. Third group five hashtags that range from 250 to 1 million total posts. In the fourth group you want to use five really big general hashtags. In the fifth group you want to use from three to five hashtags that are closely related to your post. Fifth group should be different each time since you are publishing different posts. And finally in the last group you want to use five hashtags that are really closely related to your niche and you want to use this group every time you post. When you combine first four groups you get a hashtag set which should contain 20 hashtags. Now depending on how broad is your niche and your posting frequency you should have at least two hashtag sets and if your niche is really broad and you are posting several times per day you want to have four or five different sets. If you post more than once per day you don't really want to use the same set over and over again because Instagram can see that as a spam. Now this really depends. I have an account where I'm using the same hashtag set for almost one year just copy pasting and I haven't experienced any problems but I have a friend who used the same set over and over again and got shadow banned and once he started to use different hashtag set he started to rank for hashtags once again. So it really depends. But just to be safe have at least two different hashtag sets. Group 1 contains smaller hashtags which are really easy to rank. If you rank for them you will get more exposure and increased amount of engagement. Now with that increased engagement you have a chance to rank for bigger hashtags which are in the group 2. This gives you additional exposure and engagement. With that you have a chance to rank for even bigger third group. Now once again you get additional reach and engagement which gives you a chance to rank for some of the hashtags from the fourth group which are the biggest. Please note that if you already own an established account with more followers and engagement you want to use different total post range for each of these groups. The example I've used is for smaller or completely new accounts. In the skyscraper strategy the most important group is the first one. In the first group you want to have smaller hashtags that your account has a chance to rank for. So if your posts are usually getting from 50 to 100 likes you want the first group to have hashtags which have top posts that are also in this range. So you have a chance to rank for them and start the snowballing effect. Once you publish a lot of posts using different hashtag sets you are going to see which set performs better and is getting more engagement and once you do you should start to use that set more often and discard the worst performing set. That's it for now as I mentioned I decided to divide this video about hashtags into two parts. The part two should be published within the next 48 hours and I'm going to cover brand hashtags, the best place to put hashtags, story hashtags, some secret strategies and tips that are working right now and much more. Once I publish it I will leave a link down in the description and in the first comment. I hope this video helped you and if it did please leave a thumbs up, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and keeps me motivated. If you don't want to miss the part 2 or my next videos about Instagram and online marketing make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Since on this channel I'm sharing working strategies and everything I've learned in the past 9 years completely free. Knowledge. As always if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section and I'm going to answer as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye.